So everybody is really, really excited about Call of Duty, guys. It's happening, brothers. It's happening. We're talking about Call of Duty 2024, Black Ops Gulf War. We got trailer leaks, release date stuff as well. Zombies, multiplayer, the beta. When can you play the beta? Is it going to be early on Xbox since they bought it? Is it not going to? Is it going to come out on all the platforms at the same time? Is it not? We're going to get right into it. And the homies are shaking tonight. Oh, shaking. Yay. We're going to get right into the story here, guys. Like the video if you want uh, microtransactions to be chill which means that you don't want too many greedy ass microtransactions Bruh. just like the video if you love microtransactions in call of duty roll it according to trusted leakers the reveal for call of duty 2024 is getting very close the okay. reveal of treyarch's next black ops game rumored to be black ops golf war in, in this June, video right? we're gonna break down absolutely everything we know so far for this game what, what if it happens earlier right now we're thinking like the big big reveal will be in june but i suppose it's gonna be something is gonna come before when it comes to the campaign the multi play of the zombies and the zombies. war zone now despite the, the fact the game hasn't been announced yet we actually know quite a lot already as leaks and rumors as for always, this game yeah. have been happening for about two years now and with the yeah. game being created on the same engine as mw3 and the cod hq actual assets and coding from the game is continuously being added with each season of mw3 which is how leakers have gotten access to this information now the game is still in active development so anything can change at any time we yeah. also have leaks from honestly bro like same engine what what we're thinking man these things Come on, y'all singers got billions and billions of dollars. Y'all are making more money than God right now. M Listen, man, I cannot be the only one. We need a separate engine for Treyarch games. We need a separate engine for Infinity Ward games because I don't want to feel like a 20,000 pounder walking around uh, when I play these uh, Black Ops uh, Gulf War. Agree, Insiders. like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. Sources as well as voice actors on the game. Let me know what mode you're most excited for for Black Ops Golf War, but jumping straight in, let's Zombies, start with the campaign. The first details of this leaked in November by a website called Windows Central, who confirmed that the game would be set in the early 90s during the Gulf War and will attempt to explore a nuanced narrative of the Gulf War with a critical focus on different participants within the conflict. We'll also okay. dove tail into the end of the Cold War era and explore some of the consequences therein. And rather than feature current and near future tech that we've seen in modern warfare it will lean back into more traditional military combat technology and familiar black ops gadgetry fast forward mm -hmm. to february of this year and we got a huge bombshell from insider gaming who reported that black ops golf war was going to embrace an entirely open, open world, world campaign yeah. for the first man man uh, okay he did not talk about the other lead that happened before we even had like images and artwork leak out two years ago he said two years but so far he didn't talk about it i i wonder if he's gonna show uh yeah right because we had artwork and images leaking out with sr 71 as well and there was another image let's see if time in cod history now you may get, get ready for the main event boys remember that modern warfare 3's campaign last year main explored event. the glimpses of what an open world s campaign could yeah. be certain levels being open world missions but unlike those gulf wars campaign has been built from the ground up rather than using assets from previous entries this will be a much bigger emphasis on an open world which will see you you and the squad navigate the map more alike to that of a Far Cry game than anything from ground up guys from village from the ground up how many times you heard that how many times <laughs> this thing is always saying the same damn thing built from the ground up but i i, I genuinely hope that this game is good guys like come on bro how many times can we <laughs> how many times you can get a bad game this time i hope it's good i hope it's good. seen before in call of duty and with it being so big you'll need to utilize vehicles to get around this open world and even use a fast travel system yeah. to get from one point to the next the Which only thing that's gonna the only thing that's gonna be big about this game is gonna be its file size guys get ready for a 200 gig game bro strange as that sounds they've also been able to confirm that some linear missions which are the more classic blockbuster single player call of duty missions we've come to know and love will be integrated into the game but the scope of how many there will be remains to be seen now black yep. ops golf War probably two probably two. is being developed by treyarch but the single Yay. player campaign is being developed solely by raven software raven Man. software also helped develop the black ops one campaign and were also the sole developers of the black ops cold war campaign so it does okay. make sense for them to be creating this campaign as it's a direct sequel to that and it yeah. allows treyarch to focus solely on multiplayer and zombies inside a gaming I, I kind of wish that treyarch was also like folks i'm pretty sure they are but like I want to see like a Treyarch dedicated. Yeah, Raven is good. Like, don't get me wrong. Raven is probably better, a lot better than, let's just say, Infinity Tard. Man, Infinity Tard are the ones that made a fairly. 
I, I get it. Like, I love the memes. It's funny. It's hilarious. Uh, because it's true, right? This is why it's funny and hilarious. Like, they drop a BBC bundle, the friendly UAV online. We all talk about it, right? But, but like, damn, homie. Like, Infinity Tard really did create a devil itself. And they, they, they are the worst devs. Let me just uh, say that. They, they are oh, my bad that like they are the, the the worst devs come on now man Treyarch is considered to be the best right now alongside raven and sledgehammer i mean sledgehammer my balls uh <laughs> a lot of people would put them above infinity tar let me know your ranking of the studios agree disagree let me know man we're able to confirm that some beloved black ops characters such as russell adler from black ops cold war will be part of your team and returning we can also yeah, assume good. some other That's classic good. black ops characters like frank woods and alex mason will also make a return but we also know there will oh, be dang. a plethora of brand new characters in Black Ops Gulf War. We know of at least one incredibly important character called Ratcliffe as the actor for this character called Luke Charles Stafford accidentally leaked his involvement in uh -oh. the game over on his personal Facebook page. This uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh yeah, this one I remember. When did it? Uh, July 10th. So gotta be 2023, right? Around 8.16 p.m., Activision decided to adapt their next main character, Radcliffe, for Call of Duty. Damn. Off of my face. I'm not sure if he's the homie's still there or not. Because, like, the fact that he put... I'm pretty sure, like, he knew what was going on. I, I, I mean, I think... It's more than I think, bro. Like, damn, like, you would have signed NDA, right, before doing that. You, you were aware... Maybe he wanted to send this crap to his boo-boo, and uh, he ended up posting it online. You know, maybe that's what happened. Because... Let's be real. If you're if you're a mocap artist or were on a AAA project and especially Activision project, they warn you, bro. Never post it. I, I, yeah, and he still posted. I think he wanted to share that to his boo boo though. Included photos from the Activision capture booth as well as videos, and in his caption mentions that Activision decided to adapt their next main character, Ratcliffe, for Call of Duty off of his face and likeness. So either we the players will be playing as Ratcliffe and experiencing the game through his eyes, or much like Captain Price, he will be that main character alongside us yeah. throughout the story. I, I hope Cap they don't change Captain uh, Captain Price gender, bro. Knowing the stuff that's going around, I hope they don't do it. And guys, before we get to the main event, though. Main event coming up, main event coming up, get ready for the main event. I want to say I have a third channel. I, I know the thumbnail looking bad, and not bad, but the thumbnail is looking crazy. The thumbnail looking crazy. Yeah, the thumbnail is looking crazy, but I can explain. This is different, okay? This is different. Definitely check it out. It's a must-watch video. Check it out after this one. It's going to open up your third eye. It's going to blow your mind to the crap that's going down right now. Uh, all, right? L all right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. According to leakers one for one on Twitter, we know the names of three new characters coming to the game called Felix, Marshall, and Newman. And according to Semtex leaks, the safe house feature from the Black Ops Cold War campaign will be returning in Gulf Wars campaign. He's acted as pre-brief areas where you get briefed on the upcoming mission, and then you had a bit of choice to explore and have conversations with some of the other characters, which felt a little RPG-like for Call of Duty, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, we don't know exactly how many campaign missions in total the campaign oh, will be, but data miners have already been able to find out out the code names for at least eight of them. Those are going to be displayed on your screen right now. now this oh. doesn't affect Black Ops Golf Wars campaign, but sources reveal to Insider Gaming that it's likely going forward Call of Duty would lean into more open world campaigns over yeah. linear ones, and that next year's Call of Duty game, which is codenamed Saturn, which currently doesn't have an assigned leading developer, is supposed to be a Black Ops 2. Yeah, the next year it's going to be Black Ops 2 Remake, and they're calling it Saturn. The only thing, the only Saturn thing is gonna be about that game is gonna be its file size sequel and is also pitched to have an open world campaign with its map yeah. being separated into several different biomes and locations oh, let's no, now man. jump over to zombies where we know quite a lot of information already yes. and it sounds yes. really promising firstly <clears throat> is the fact that round based zombies is going to be returning this year proper old school round based Treyarch zombies that we've I not seen so. since cold war and this is dog i so want to see a zombie screw bro come on like the video if you want to see a zombie screw what what i mean by this uh for for two people that might not know is that zombie screw you're you know like back in the days we had rick toffin tokyo dempsey nikolai i don't care if it's a new crew i don't care if it's the original four tokyo dempsey nikolai and uh uh rick toffin uh, nikolai dempsey right I, I don't care if it's that 
or a new crew like Shadows of Evil, perhaps like a uh, Mob of the Dead. I feel like that having zombies, if zombies, and whenever zombie says uh, it's crew, it feels like different, right? Like it, it's just like, and whenever they have quotes, lines in it, it feels kind of like relatable. Not necessarily relatable, but sometimes it can if the character is good and they got the lines right, it can be relatable. But immersive you feel what i'm saying it feels immersive like mob of the dead suckers obviously it's one of the best map why do suckers obviously origin or origins is one of the best map there's a reason shadows of evil the rise on draha can other totem uh for the uh, yeah for the time it was the best map even now it's a certified hood classic i wouldn't say it's the best map but i would say it's a banger though you know what i'm saying it's a banger so we need our original characters original crew i don't want like i don't want to say here friendly a friendly <laughs> I don't want to see specialists be like, yeah, enemy there, enemy there, enemy over there, enemy in the AO. Especially when you're playing zombies. Like, come on, dog. Like the video if you agree. Dislike if you disagree. Been confirmed by several leakers as well as Charlie Intel, who has heard similar. Current rumor is that similar. there are going to be two round-based zombies map coming to Gulf War. Whether that's two on launch or one at launch and then a second pretty soon after, we don't really know yet. Code Man, name for these maps. There needs to be three or four, maybe even 10 maps. Bro. Like, come on, dog. We in 2024, these things got billions and billions of dollars. They're making more money than God right now. It needs minimum three. Come on now, guys. Like, come on, man. At least three maps. Three maps. What are we talking here? What are we talking, bro? What are we talking? This thing is going to make more than three billion in a quarter. Just based off microtransactions alone, bro. Yeah, you don't believe me? Next time they're going to do their investor call, I'm on live stream. So hit the subscribe bell if you're brand new. Uh, and I, I believe in May they have an investor call coming up. I know it's not going to be Activision this time, but it's going to be Microsoft. And during that, they're they're going to have Activision segment. They're going to talk about making more money than God. So I'll, I'll definitely live stream alongside take two GTA 6 investor call as well. Going to happen. We're going to get news on that as well. Uh, should be happening soon. So we're, we're going to stream both. I got you. A ZM course and ZM Garnet. One of these zombies maps is going to be set in a city with references to a bank, a church, and police tape present in the map and have wire ascending, which will allow you to either scale up buildings or travel between buildings. Now, we got a massive teaser at the end of Black Ops Cold War yeah. Zombies within the intel where the director, who is Richtofen, Rick now Toffin. known as Eddie in the storyline submitted a progress report on a test site that he is developing in West Virginia. Publicly, every And he posted this on 1985. And we're hearing this game is going to be set like five years after. So in the 90s. Not sure if it's directly uh, going to be on 90s or 91, 92. I, I, I believe like some maps later on, like DLC maps or maybe like the first map is uh, going to be set a little bit later on. But, but like... The fact that they tease Richtofen, we know he's going to be back, so that's good. But is he going to be back as a playable character or more like a director, but we play as uh, the the BBC bundle, though? I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't want to play zombies with specialists, though. Thoughts, guys? Uh, you fine with it? You not cool with it? Uh, I mean, I, I come from a time when zombies uh, had, like, its original maps. Zombies had its own mode. And zombies felt unique. And uh, also, we had zombies crew. And most importantly, we had a pausing button Bruh. nowadays <laughs> pausing button is kind of like uh, very very hard for these devs man i hope we have a pausing button this time boo boo Everything that's happening has been covered up by a massive news story where they were informed that a nuclear power plant nearby had experienced a tower failure and was leaking and so all of the town folk had to be evacuated. This is all a massive lie. As the test site that Richtofen uh -oh. is building is requiring 5,000 tons of steel, which is going to be delivered in order to build something, as well as a schedule yeah. for a tunnel network. On top of this, he's also gone on a massive hiring spree hiring scientists, military military personnel, operations personnel, and custodians. And it hasn't yet been explained what this is all for, but this is very likely the city map that leakers are referring to. The second yeah. zombies map will seemingly be set on an island with an elevator that will take you to an underground prison and lab, and it will have like a vegetable. ship with a deck cannon trap you can activate and set the angle off. Now, this island is very likely to be the exact location that Dr. Peck is pointing at on a map that we Damn. saw in the Forsaken cuts 
cutscene from Cold War back in October of 2021. And community members oh. have managed to put two and two together with the help of the Modern Warfare 3 storyline to discover our first references as to what this island map location could be. And this all leads down to James Fletcher from the CIA working alongside Zakaev. We see during a frame of one of the ACT mission cutscenes that Fletcher actually has a backstory where the CIA pulled him from the NZDF to begin a security job on an island called Terminus Island. This is the first mm. time this island has ever been referenced in the Dark Aether story. And in 1993, he was honorably discharged post-mission, meaning there is a time frame of two whole years where some secret CIA activity went down on this island that was never brought to the public eye. Yo, honestly, it might actually be good. Uh, because I, I like the Black Ops team. It's all this about like the secret projects that happen, and uh, it, 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 they actually take inspiration from like conspiracies as well, real world conspiracies with the CIA stuff, with the dark stuff, the, the black operations, right? I like it. I just hope this time they manage to succeed because their last game was all the way back in 2020, and uh, guess what? It was Sledgehammer Games. Right, so they picked up their project, they worked on it, they had less time, we were under Roni as well, uh, so that happened. They had very less time to develop, and looking back at it, it I mean, this is the only Call of Duty that I, if I play Call of if I want to play Call of Duty, this is the only game I fall back onto, and I play like Newtown 24-7 for a little bit, right? Get that adrenaline, get that, get that, you feel what I'm saying? And make sure like my FPS skills are still intact and decent. So yeah, Black Ops Cold War broke gameplay uh, fire, and now that by the time this game comes out, they're gonna have four years, four mother effing years. So this game better be a banger, bro. Like if this game turns out to be bad, guys, then it's Joe over. At that point, it's Joe over. Then it's like what? Infinity Tart? Yeah, I mean, 2025, we're gonna have another Black Ops game. So it's like it's gonna be like if this game's bad, next year will save us. Call of Duty 2025 will save Call of. Yeah, people are gonna say that that. 2025 will save Call of Duty, but but still, man, this game needs to do better, guys. The this CIA are pretty much trying to cover one. this up to the point where Terminus Island never actually existed on record. This okay. is more likely Richtofen's doing, trying to keep this island hidden from public record, and it's likely that he is also the one that has funded Terminus Outcomes, PMC group that we're dealing with within the Modern Warfare 3 storyline. But why could Terminus Island have an underground prison? Well, we know at the end of Cold War, every member of Requiem is arrested and put in solitary confinement in a location called... I don't know why but like you I thought it said simp. Bruh. I thought it said simp on their helmet. End of Cold War, every member of Requiem is arrested and put in solitary confinement in a location called Black Site 13. All this information lines up so perfectly that within the next Zombies map, we will see Grey, Carver, Weaver, and Strauss break out of this prison and end up in the scenario that we see them in within the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies intro cinematic, where okay. their bodies are- Bro, this intro was so good. I said it before. Uh, when it first came out, I'll say I'll still say the intro was so good, but the game mode was Bruh, we didn't even have a zombie map and they abandoned it after releasing it as well, bro I hope these seconds do not drop zombies on a warzone map because if they do that, bro If these seconds do that, bro, I swear, bro Decomposed within Urzikstan, Treyarch being who they are They're simply not going to leave this unexplained and we will see this story play out in front of our eyes Outside of the two round based zombies maps We also know according to leakers that some sort of consumable system like the gobblegum system will be returning yeah. for this yeah, year's yeah. zombies Now it won't be exactly like the gobblegum machine, but it's apparently going to be similar and if it's any Anything like the Black Ops 3 system, I'm- Oh man, they're gonna microtransaction and find the crap out of this one, bro. I love Gobblegums, I talked about previously as well. I think Gobblegum system was very, very good because the earn rate was decent. It was still painfully awful in Black Ops 3, but the game was so good, Zombies was so good, that, you know, you- Felt like playing and grinding the game and whenever you would get liquid divinium you, you you would use it and you can stock up on gobblegums There were people that were doing no gobblegum challenges as well So what they would do grind 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 get liquid divinium liquid divinium liquid divinium use it uh, Just hoard on these gobblegums right and get a ton of perkaholics get a ton of these gobblegums and, and Just use it once in a blue moon and whenever you would use perkaholic and you would go down Before you would get game over you would close app Bruh. 
you would close that and you would save that. Yeah, that was a hack. Uh, and, and I believe it's not patched, but watch them patch this in the next game because, you know, it, it, it was a really good system. Even if you had like one perkaholic, you used it in the game. And before, if you were, if you went down, just close the app, pause the game right in the, then and there. Close your application on the PlayStation. I'm 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 not sure about Xbox. Uh, probably was similar. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys uh, actually did this on Xbox. Let me know in the comments. But bro, this was this feature was really really good. I'm gonna be extremely happy. We know a lot of the traditional zombie mechanics are going to be returning, such as the perk machines, the Dewanda Fizz, Pack a Punch, the crafting table from Cold War will be returning, as well as the Arsenal machine to craft, yeah. upgrade, and repair your armor. It will yeah. apparently work in the exact same way, but we also have a brand new machine which is going to be some sort of tool grinder because i've found actual model assets for this tool grinder machine which will allow you to increase your loadout weapons damage potential it sounds okay. like it could be an extension of the arsenal machine in cold war where you use that to upgrade your weapons rarity but now you'll be using a separate machine called the tool grinder you also know that the x fills from black ops cold war will also and, and apparently uh, these are like the skill streaks that also got leaked out as well uh, if you want to take a screenshot, you can. Uh, these are going to be all the kill streaks. Obviously, not finalized just yet. But, guys, this what recently happened with Dr. Disrespect. Activision banned Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, check out this video on the screen. You know, you want to know what happened? Yeah, this is an absolute insane story. Check it out on the left. This video is on my second channel. And uh, check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right